Section One of Selected Poems. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Selected Poems by Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. To her portrait, read by Newgate novelist. This that you gaze upon a painted lie blazoning forth the niceties of art with false syllogisms the hues impart is a shrewd snare the sense being tame thereby this wherein the flatteries try to cover the horrors of the years and to erase the rigours time has stamped upon the face age and forgetfulness to triumph over is an artifice most vainly wrought is a frail flower carried on the wind is a shield against a sure fate born is the idle labour of a vagrant mind is a solicitude ponderous and outworn is corpse is dust is shadow and is not End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Lost Love by Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Ah, when shall I, my glory, discern thy light in radiant shining, thy presence illusory to bring me sweet release from grief and pining when shall i see thine eyes enchanting rapture and yield thee mine as tender capture when will thy voice awaken mine ears with thrilling accents from their sadness and i enthralled overtaken by the floods of its ineffable gladness be swept away in ecstasy and after the marvel wanes hasten to thee with laughter when will thy light effulgent reclothe with roseate glamour all my being and when shall i indulgent the anguish of my sighs exhaled and fleeing no more bemoan the pangs of my past sorrow when thou shalt come and glorify the morrow come then my soul's dear treasure since fast through weariness my life is fading and absence without measure come then lest heeding not my soft persuading thou wound my love e'en yet despite mine anger with tears of hope i will refresh my languor end of poem this recording is in the public domain Caprice by Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist Who thankless flees me, I with love pursue. Who loving follows me, I thankless flee. To him who spurns my love, I bend the knee. His love who seeks me, cold I bid him rue. I find as diamond him I yearning woo, Myself a diamond when he yearns for me. Who slays my love, I would victorious see, While slaying him who wills me bliss is true. To favour this one is to lose desire, To crave that one, my virgin pride to tame. On either hand I face a prospect dire, Whatever path I tread, the goal the same to be adored by him of whom i tire or else by him who scorns me brought to shame end of poem this recording is in the public domain arraignment of the men by sor juana inés de la cruz Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. 
males perverse schooled to condemn women by your witless laws though forsooth you are prime cause of that which you blame in them if with unexampled care you solicit their disdain will your fair words ease their pain when you ruthless set the snare their resistance you impugn then maintain with gravity that it was mere levity made you dare to importune what more elevating sight than of man with logic crass who with hot breath fogs the glass then laments it is not bright scorn and favour favour scorn what you will result the same treat you ill and earn your blame love you well be left forlorn scant regard will she possess who with caution wends her way is held thankless for her nay and as wanton for her yes what must be the rare caprice of the quarry you engage if she flees she wakes your rage if she yields her charms surcease who shall bear the heavier blame when remorse the twain enthralls she who for the asking falls he who asking brings to shame who's the guilt where to begin though both yield to passion's sway she who weakly sins for pay he who strong yet pays for sin then why stare ye if we prove that the guilt lies at your gate either love those you create or create those you can love to solicitation truce then sire with some show of right you may mock the hapless plight or the creatures of your use end of poem this recording is in the public domain to her portrait by sor juana inez de la cruz read for LibriVox.org by newgate novelist this that you see the false presentment planned with finest art and all the coloured shows and reasonings of shade doth but disclose the poor deceits by earthly senses fanned here where in constant flattery expand excuses for the stains that old age knows pretexts against the year's advancing snows the footprints of old seasons to withstand tis but vain artifice of scheming minds tis but a flower fading on the winds tis but a useless protest against fate tis but stupidity without a thought a lifeless shadow if we meditate tis death tis dust tis shadow yea tis not End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To a Portrait by Sor Juan Inés de la Cruz Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist This thou seest, image in tones obscure, Vaunting the comeliness of skilful art, which the sophisms of colour impart is to the senses but a subtle lure this in which flattery effects to cure the scarring wounds of time's ungallant dart and veiling sorrow in the heart gainst age and dull oblivion ensure is a vain artifice to palliate a fragile flower in a whirlwind caught a useless barrier in the track of fate, an unrequiting diligence distraught, mere wasted pains. It is, in any state, a corpse, a mouldering dust, a shade, I, not. End of poem. 
This recording is in the public domain. And end of selected poems by Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. Thank you for listening.